What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another account progression video. Alright, so it is time for another tier 2 character and we're going to be getting Hulkbuster to tier 2 today. So as you can see here, we have the massive Hulkbuster uh, sitting on our screen here. And I'm going to be tier 2ing him because it's been uh, a lot more fun to play since he got his Infinity War uniform. So I figured it's time to get him the tier 2 treatment. Uh, we do have enough bios for him, so I figure why not. So let's go ahead and take a look at him before we uh, tier 2 him. So we have uh, his skills over here, and pretty much the only skill that we have fully leveled up, actually we got the bottom two, is the fourth skill right here for the guard against hits. He gets a guard for eight hits for eight seconds, so very nice, really helping his uh, survivability there. Then he also has an all defense down here. It only stacks up to 25, uh, or minus 25%, but still it does help out his damage. And then we have the uh, fifth skill here, which we leveled up for that 6% max HP heal. So yeah, definitely a lot more survivability with this uniform here. Uh, not to mention actual skill chains animations that it gets. But we also get that heal and guard. So very, very good. Um, and then the ice weight set, we have overdrive on him. Um, as you can see here, it is just pretty much the set that I first rolled when I got him way back when because we have some two stars on there and we have this random fully awakened uh six star <laughs> chaotic set what is going on with these six star chaotics like my past three um videos where i've tier two to character they've had these random fully awakened uh, chaotics on them and i don't know why i don't remember why i put them on there and the only reason i can think is i was just overflowing with them for some reason at one point during the game uh, but anyway, yeah, he's got a random fully awakened uh, chaotic on him and then for the obelisk We have a immune to guard break all defense and a damage proc So I like having the damage proc on Hulkbuster here because with his new uniform He can dish out a lot more damage. So it helps him to clear uh, Shadowland floors quite easily and he can actually do a little bit of world boss ultimate uh, not very high on the stage But he can uh, compete there and uh, yeah, so that's why I like having damage proc on him, the immune guard break, of course, so he doesn't get uh, any of his skills canceled out. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the details here. Pretty average build on him. His ignore defense is a little higher. He must have it uh, native on like two of his gears or something like that. And his crit rate and crit damage are pretty low. Uh, we do have max skill cooldown, so yeah, not too bad. And now it is time to get him to tier two. So we have what system upgrade. So we're going to be upgrading him. And what are we going to get from this upgrade? Uh, we're going to get a increase to all speed by 10%. Not bad. Increased skill damage by 38% and bonus damage by 25%. So we're going to get a boost to his damage as well. Then we're also going to get a enhancement of his uh, tier or his uh, four star passive. Was that heavy duty exo frame? What was his four star passive? So I don't forget here. Um, a 25% rate when hit to become immune to uh, physical damage for 10 seconds. That's right. So, all right, so 25% when hit and then 10 seconds. All right, so let's see what that changes to. Go ahead over here, gonna tier to him naturally because we have all of the materials. Boom, there we go. Hulkbuster 2.0 is now tier two. All right. <laughs> Nothing else I can really say about that. So let's go ahead and back out. And we have the Invincible Iron Man. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see what changed here for his four-star passive. Um, what? Did it get worse? So now it's a 35% chance when hit. So that went up. But now it's only for five seconds he's immune to? All, well, he's immune to all damage instead of physical damage. But we lost five seconds of immunity there. What was the cooldown before? I should check that out. Now we're on a 20 second cooldown. That seems like a downgrade to me. Um, what? Can we check? Let's go over here. Um, Alright, so... Oh, it's on a 60 second cooldown. Alright, so I guess that equates to about the same amount of downtime. So we have 50 seconds down, 10 seconds up here. And then when you got to... Uh, where are you... Uh, tier 2, we have um, 15 seconds of downtime. So, okay, I, I guess maybe a little bit better overall. Uh, but still, <laughs> when you see that, when you see you lose 5 seconds, you're like, okay, what's going on here? Um, Alright, well anyway, I guess, I guess it's an improvement. I just would have liked to keep that 10 seconds and maybe put that 60 seconds down to 30 seconds i don't know instead of having it the way it is but either way we got him to tier two so now all that's left is to try him out a little bit so let's go hop into some gameplay 
All right, so here we are to Shadowland. We have floor 14 and we've got the Speed Rumble here. And I figured this would be a good place to try out Hulkbuster because he has a lot more AoE and survivability with this uniform. So we can test it out against a uh, three on one battle here. And of course we gotta watch out for that Gamora because of her bleed. And uh, we are going to be taking him in by himself with his own leadership here. He does have the all attack increase by 24%. So he is going to be getting a little bit of a boost there from his leadership, which is nice. So let's see how we can do here. All right, so we'll probably try to open up with the fifth skill here because it is an iframe now, which is really nice. Try to get them, yeah, there we go, snared up, get our guard up, and then, oh, our guard's already pretty much gone there. We already triggered our damage immunity from our four-star passive there, which helped us to actually not get uh, bled right there, which is nice. Oh yeah, we have the eye from on the uh, third skill there. I haven't played uh, Hulkbuster in a while, actually, now that I think about it. Come back here. Got Black Widow being annoying. Get her here with the rockets, get her with the lasers, get her some more rockets, and down she goes. <clears throat> so yeah, there we go, Hulkbuster, yeah, definitely a lot more damage with this uniform, so really fun character to play now for Shadowland, can take on some of the high stages as well because of that damage. I do have a damage proc on him, so of course that does help, but he's got a lot more hits, he's got way more survivability, he's got iframes, so with this new uniform, I think he's uh, worthy of... The tier 2 status now because he can help you clear the Shadowland quite easy any of the floors. He can do a little bit of uh, world boss but he's not going to be pushing any kind of high stages for you but he does have the survivability now and the damage to do a little bit of world boss if you need that for you know extra clear on the side there of an early stage or if you're just kind of starting out and need a, uh, another character that's kind of farm well not farmable but a bio selector character to invest in. Um, maybe he's a better option now. So anyway, that's just going to be my thoughts on Hulkbuster here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and of course I will catch you in the next one.